Hey guys, today I am going to talk about Mystical Archive and why I like it. I think it's really good. I think the cards in it are good. I think the artwork is good. This is from the new set Strixhaven in the Collector's Edition, the $250 product that we now have. Now, uh, before we begin, the $250 product is... Um, it's very strange to me that we still have this product, even though, yes, we have had it since Throne of the Eldrin. But this kind of makes sense. I understand the Collector's Edition, if it was eternally playable cards, like Tainted Pack, for instance. So, yes, you are going to have to have crappier cards, like a Eliminate, that many people are, you know, would you rather have Tainted Pack or Eliminate? Definitely in the Tainted Pack sees quite a bit of play in EDH. One of the Beller Tutors. Demonic is also on it, as is Time Warp, I believe, is on this one, too. And those are heavily played cards in EDH. So, I do like the card selection. I like the idea of unique artwork on cards that you know, there's no question that these cards will be played. The, some of these cards are, like Demonic Tutor, if you have a black ED8 deck, you are going to play Demonic Tutor. I don't know any black ED8 decks that would not want that. Something like Defiant Strike, though, it's a little bit more like, eh, what type of deck would want to play that? So I do like the set, and I think the idea of having eternally playable cards that you know are good printed in a collector's edition, which costs more money. Uh, again, it costs more money because you have better cards in it. And every card is about a foil. I mean, if you want to look at the foil price right now of a regular... I mean, it used to be that foil regular cards you, it could be money, and now it's like, ugh. It's pretty gross in terms of uh, where they are going. Anyway, in terms of the foils, the foils are really bad conditioning, and they are worthless nowadays. Like, you might you might actually be better off with the non-foil than the foil if it's a standard card. So back to uh, these cards. I think they are criminally underpriced. Um, I do think that after COVID-19 goes you know, everyone who wants vac who get who wants to get vaccinated gets vaccinated. Everyone who doesn't doesn't anyway. Uh, and people will come back to your local store. That these cards will go up in price. Uh, it's not surprising. So out of the major games, Pokemon, sports cards, and Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh, you could say is more play. You know, people play Yu-Gi-Oh. But Pokemon, people don't play Pokemon. People play Magic, and I think that is one of the reasons Magic hasn't really boomed like Pokemon has, because Pokemon is 95% collectible, 5% playable. Magic is 50-50, and especially these cards. Like, I love Nahiri. I think that artwork is pretty cool. It reminds me of uh, John, Summer John from FGO, and I don't have any issue with this. I don't have any issue with this concept. I've always had an issue with the concept of, hmm... Should we have standard cards, and should these standard cards be more expensive than normal? And if these standard cards are more expensive than normal, what will players use these cards for after? And there's no like reasonable explanation of what's going on. Like Throne of the Eldrin, and I will I will say this: Pharaohs Beyond Death, Ikoria, pretty cool. They got Godzilla cards and so on, whatever. They are not good collectible sets. I will say this. Everything goes up in price because we're right now Joe Biden hyperinflation times. But I truly don't believe they are good investments because even though the quote box goes up in price, how much the demand isn't really there. How many people want to buy a Throne of the Eldraine collector's edition box on release date? You would say a lot. I would actually say 95% of boxes are probably bought release date or soon afterwards. Maybe they hold on to the boxes to resell. But yeah, if you look at the volume, so one of the things that when you buy a stock, you look at is not just the price and now it goes up. It's a volume of trading. Is this an active stock? Um, and this should be known to anyone in TCG player. You know, we, I had a conversation with a seller via email last night. And he wanted to use TCG mids and or TCG lows uh, based on some vintage cards. And I said, no, because those aren't the real prices. The marketplace pr price is a real one. That's the one that sold. Just because two people list 
a card at $5,000 does not mean the card is $5,000. It just means it has two listings at $5,000. And there are plenty of listings on vintage cards that are insane because the person has no interest in selling it. They're using it to drive traffic to their website or to their to other cards they have. Uh, very similar to how Alpha Investment uses some of his very expensive. He prices them so extreme that no one could ever even buy it because there's no profit. You're going to lose a ton of money. So if this $1,000, $100,000 card is priced at $1 million, it'll bring attention to your eBay store. It'll bring attention to you know, your other cards, but you're, you're not doing it to sell it. You're doing it for attention. And that's a very common tactic people use on TCG Player. My point is you got to look at the volume too. Like these cards will always be easy to sell. Um, Counter Spell will always be easy to sell because it's always in high demand. Growth Spiral, also a very good card. Um, Dark rit Ritual, fantastic card. I don't have any qualms with these cards because I know they will be easy to move. They're playable cards and people like them. What I have is, you know, people saying that a Throne of Al the Alduran, even though it's more expensive, I get, grant you, yes, in time, magic cards become more expensive and it's a wild concept, I understand. But how are you going to move a thousand of them? How are you move 10,000 of these boxes? I don't get it. Like, is there really 10,000 people today who want a Throne of the Alderaan box for more money, more money than they can buy this box at, which they can actually use the cards? And that's the problem with standard. I mean, the problem with standard boxes, after they rotate out, the utility of it is gone. And yes, I understand, oh, Calidas boxes are much pricey, but you can pick and choose. You can pick and choose. And in hindsight, that's unfair to do, but hey, in hindsight, hey, I invested in Calidas boxes that turn out great. The majority of boxes are not going to be like that. And the majority of collector's editions, especially, are going, you're going to have trouble selling it because the demand is not, if you have a thousand or 10,000 of these boxes, how are you going to sell it? I, I really refuse to believe there's so many people. That's why you got to buy singles. Buy singles, buy singles, buy singles. Like it is absolutely necessary for you to buy singles. And that's where you can make money in MTG Finance. Now, if you buy singles for standard cards, it's not going to work. It's just not going to work. I, I can't tell you. Um, hmm. So back to the issue at hand. I like these cards. I think these cards are very beautiful. I like them because they're good looking. And on top of being good looking, they're actually playable eternally. And that combination makes me very happy. Um, this is the what a collector's edition should be. Like my version of a collector's edition would just be all of these cards. You you pay four hundred dollars a box or two fifty a box, and then you just open these, and you don't get any standard cards. Or you know reverse, you get the majority of these cards, and then occasionally you get a standard card, just like uh, the masterpieces. I thought what collector's edition initially would be would be kind of like a box of pseudo masterpieces, and then you know you would have the chase cards in the standard set also as a masterpiece as well but they would only be like 20 percent of it i like these cards i like the other cards this is the way to do it um hopefully wizard of coast continues and i hope that they you know demonic tutor it looks great uh, I, it's not for me but i can understand there is going to be demand for it and i do feel like the prices will drop upon release and there will be a tiny bit of time where you can pick up whatever you want to your heart's content for pennies on the dollar of this particular set.